Morning world. Welcome to Tuesday the 14th of December. Morning boys and girls. You complain in because you can't reach it. So, once again, we've got a cow on the outside, or calves on the inside because the calves like to lie down in the passageway here. We, we lift a hurdle up down there so they can get in and out. Just means the calves can get out of the way of mums, especially when they're bullying. Bit of peace and quiet. Right, so this morning, it's all going on this morning, not so much down here at the farm. So, those of you that are only interested in farm stuff will probably disappear in a minute. Uh, we have got carpets going down in the new extension in the Motor Lords Granny Flat and the wife's office. So this is kind of a, a bookmark day for us because it basically means that the project inside is finished. Uh, there, there will be a few little bits and bobs of snagging to do. Um, According to Dave, the builder, he says every time he's had the carpets in fitted anything he's done, he's had to go back and touch up the paint because something to do with carpet fitters and dirty hands on walls and stuff. I don't know. So, uh, but I've got to go up and make some space because the other thing happening today is all our paving slabs are coming for the footpath and the patio outside. So we've decided to go with uh, natural Indian buff um, slabs, um, hand cut, probably by some poor child labour in India somewhere, I, I, I don't know. Um, I dare say somebody would tell me off for using it. <coughs> it's, we're using it because it matches everything else we've already got. It's dear stuff, it's 20, 27 pounds a square metre. That's just for the material, that's plus VAT, plus 20% on top of that for the value added tax. So there's a hundred square meters of that coming. So that won't take you many seconds to work out the, the cost of that. Um, but it is, like I said to Dave, they're here. We had to put a path around it anyway because she's a little old lady. You can't expect her to walk out of her door on, well, on a building site on rubble and stone and stuff like that. You can't expect to do that. I mean, she trips over her own shadow at the best of times. So we've got to put down the path, and it was a case of we're putting down a path around the back to make it safer to get around right there. We kind of need somewhere for her to get out next summer, and it has to be a big enough area that if she wants to put a table and chairs and stuff on it. Um, 100 square metres sounds a lot. I have a funny feeling it won't be enough to do what I would like to do. So there might be a bit more to come yet. So. so yeah, so today, Dave and Andy are just in, um, just doing a quick hoover round and making sure that everything is ready in there for the carpet fitters. Um, the freezer's turned up this morning, so basically once the carpet is down, we can put the fridge and freezer in. They can go on and settle down, because as you know, you don't move a fridge or freezer around, plug it in and switch it on. You kind of let it settle for a bit. Or at least that's what you used to do. I presume you still do. Um, so by the end of today, the carpets will be in, the fridge will be in, the freezer will be in, the oven and the hob, that's all already done. Um, yeah. And then what we might do tonight, they won't be tonight, tomorrow. I think the electrician comes tomorrow, where we get the cookers and everything else actually finally wired in. Once that's done, before Audrey moves in, I'd kind of like to get the oven turned on hot for a couple of hours before anybody goes in the flat, leave the windows and doors open just to get rid of that new cooker pong. Can be a bit pungent. Right, so I have got a bit of levelling to do at the top. A little bit of tidying up there. So before the slabs come we need to have somewhere to put them. That's what I'm doing now.
Sorry about that. I thought we had to move one or two things. Yeah, a bit more than that. Carpet man's here. That'd be level enough, wouldn't it? Yeah. He could put his pallets on there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Carpet people here then. Yeah, Mike's already in there. He's already started laying out his pattern. <laughs> right, I'm gonna feed you birds and then I'll crack on. So I said we're waiting for Dave to come back and do some of that. Yeah. Well you ain't gonna do anything more in there now, are you? Not with, not with them in there. Yeah. You don't want to fall over the carpet, man. You know you're a pain in the bum, don't you? That's good, bloody filthy. You're a Let's pain go. in the bum. I'm going to tell everybody why you're a pain in the bum now. <laughs> Holly's going for a booster jab this afternoon. Yeah. And that's before I get my booster jab, mind you. I'm 56 and you're old. 23. 23. Right, get, come on. And she's getting hers first. Because I'm running late. <laughs> yeah. Well, but, uh, they but, but I've got to take you all the, the six miles, whatever, to go and get your jab because. Because. It's very What do you mean it's confusing? Well, we took that. So you've, been, so you've been to this place before? Been to this place before. So you know where it is? You know, you know, you know where to get there? I, I didn't try it, but it wasn't mum. So you've been to this place before. I've been to this place before. And it was very confusing and I didn't quite understand. So I thought I was driving because you didn't want to drive after having a needle stuck in you in case you, you know, no, case I it, also in case don't it hurt. It, no, it's going to hurt. And also I have a, Why is it going to hurt? Because girly. I'm jabbing something into my arm. It's going to hurt. I also it's don't like needles. Jab. I don't like needles. I honestly... So how is, but how's me driving going to help? Because I'll probably turn around and come back home. Probably get them like, yeah, nope, I'm too mine. <laughs> don't, I don't like needles. I really don't. Well, yeah, but how's me driving you there and the back gonna help? What? I'm going to stab when I said that. So. Yes, you did. <laughs> so is that. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm driving you for support. Yeah, for support. Being a good father. Because I said, he loves being needed. He loves. No, I don't. Yes, you do. I've, no. I've never loved being needed. 
I knew a couple of young ladies years ago that liked me. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> no, thank you. What? Mead, mead, mead. Meading. I'm already getting sick of not needing my armpits anymore. <laughs> so, no, I don't need to be needed. I've got nothing to need anyway. Have I? You know, nothing to need there or there. No needing needed. <laughs> so, so, so we still haven't ascertained why I, I don't physically nice, need to be here. You're a nice human being. No, I'm not. I'm not nice at all. I'm going to protest all the way there about you stopping me from doing what I was doing, so that I can take you for an injection that you what, could distract the that carpenters you could, by having conversations with them. the carpenters. Carpet. The carpet layers. Layers. I'm not distracting the carpet you layers. Are, you have a conversation with them and they need some work in. So they can be done. And then they can go away. <laughs> upstairs, no, upstairs is finished. <laughs> upstairs yeah. is done. Downstairs is taking longer because he uh, he's having to cut the tiles in and around all the kitchen units. That's why the upstairs is taking. That's what you did! What? Upstairs is done. Upstairs is done. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, less echo in there now. Because there was a lot of echo. There was a lot of echo. 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 Child. Child? Yes, you are. Child.